I'm about to show you a dry needling technique for tibialis posterior. So we all know tibialis posterior, it's a little muscle that hides in behind the tibia and the lower leg and it's a key muscle in controlling the biomechanics of the ankle and lower leg. So particularly in people who are doing high impact loading exercise, running, uh, a, lot of, a lot of time on their feet, this muscle gets overworked quite a bit, particularly if you're a pronator, an excessive pronator. So we're going to look at how to dry needle some specific points in this muscle to unload some of that tissue. Okay, so tibialis posterior sits in behind the tibia, it attaches posteriorly to the tibia in that deep posterior compartment, runs down the inside of that leg, wraps around the posterior side of the medial malleolus and attaches into this medial arch here. So its primary role is plantar flexion and inversion. So the opposing movement of that is gonna be dorsiflexion and eversion, which looks a lot like, obviously, excessive pronation. So if the person who rolls a lot through that medial ankle tends to put a lot of stress and strain through tier post. So we end up developing a lot of tension and trigger points through this muscle. So a great way to access those trigger points, given that some of them hide in behind the tibia, is with dry needling. And so what we're gonna show you now is just a really basic dry needling approach to access some of those trigger points. So I'm just gonna swab that down to make sure it's clean. Using our red coral myotech needles. Don't need a long needle. I've just got a 40 mil needle in this case, which should give us enough access in behind that bone to access the trigger points. So let's assume for a moment that we've found our trigger point. I'm gonna come about a centimeter or two away from the medial edge of that tibia, and then angle the needle back posteriorly in behind the bone. Sliding the needle in. You'll feel it move into that deep posterior compartment. You might feel a little bit of resistance as it kind of pushes through the compartment sleeve and then drops into the tissue and there'll be some resistance on that needle there. And then once we're in that point, the patient should be able to feel some deep aching in that region, possibly a little referral down to the ankle. And that will be our needling of tibialis posterior. We can do that at a number of different points. Trust your palpation, so follow that muscle down, feel the points of tension, staying away from the tendon of tip post, we don't need to needle tendons, um, up into the belly, and this is a fantastic way to get into that space that's actually quite comfortable to needle, but quite uncomfortable to do soft tissue work because it can be quite um, tender in there. So needling is probably a less invasive, more comfortable way to treating that muscle.